Hello my beautiful people, welcome back to a, another Broken Finger <laughs> episode. Um, HOA was ingenious and helped me figure out a way to get the splint into the glove first and then put my finger in it so I could still wear gloves. So my finger is still broken but it's doing better. Um, I'm going back to the doctor tomorrow. I got about two more weeks left and we'll see how we go from there. So um, tonight we're doing something very fun. This is a 14 by 14 inch gallery wrap canvas, which I have never seen in person before. <laughs> um, my friend Brian Siglarski from Studio 15 Acrylics told me about them and he was using them and he really liked them and I looked on Michael's and he said, ooh, they're on sale right now. So I got a couple of them. So that's a 14 by 14 and I have painted my sides and edges and I have taped and pinned the back. So that's all ready to go. I'm excited about this. For this size canvas, we need about seven ounces of paint to figure out how much paint you need. Multiply length by width, then divide by 28, and there you go. So for this, we need seven ounces of paint, which is good, because we have a seven, eight, seven or eight ounce cups here. <laughs> it's so cute. It's like one of your canvases. No, no, smaller. no, no. This yes. is a nice, decent size canvas. A 12 by 12 is decent. This is a little bigger than that, so it's good. Okay, let me show you my colors real quick. Uh, this is a phthalo green. Everything is leftovers because I'm trying not to mix, so might as well use the leftovers, right? This is a phthalo green. I think that's Arteza. This is Pebio Studios green blue. It's also a good test of my memory. <laughs> this one is Golden's Prussian blue. This one is Pebio Studios iridescent copper. And I believe this is Chromacryl white. So, I also have some drips over here to use as a base coat color. This is like a nice smoky, dark, deep bluish black, which is exactly what it is. Lots of blues and blacks in it. Okay, so let's layer our cup first. Since we only need seven ounces, I'm only gonna use one cup. All right, let's see. Let's start with a little bit of copper. And then we're gonna go right into that delicious Prussian blue. And one of the paintings we had done recently, I had the phthalo green next to that darker blue and it was so pretty. So we're gonna do that again. And we're gonna come right in with that beautiful greenish blue from Pevio, the iridescent sparkly magic. A little bit more copper. Oh, you know what? Let's do white and then copper. I'll do that again. The Prussian and the phthalo. And the green and blue. And the white. Actually this time I think I want copper than white. I'm good with the green and the blue. Okay, that's good. Alright, so those over. So I have only poured one cup, but because we only need seven ounces of paint, I didn't want to pour another one. So I'm going to pour half of it, then I'm going to turn the canvas around and pour the other half. Alright, so let's put a line right here in the middle. Kind of a thicker line. Okay. All right, are you ready, husband of awesomeness? We're gonna start about here. Yes, my love. Here we go. really pretty. And I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to pour the rest over here. Are you ready darling? Awesome. 
it's like a C and I'm an I'm an I'm an I'm an A. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go around this with this very heavy tub. Wow, that's so pretty. This is cool. I love this part. I really like this part too. So we're probably going to keep most of this. Um, the last time I did something, and I'm just going to wreck that center line a little bit. this out. this side and it still feels compressed so I think we're gonna lose a little bit of this open this top part up more this all up. So we're redistributing the weight of the paint so that we can tilt off the parts that we want to tilt off. And now that the weight of the paint is over here, I'm going to get rid of some of that on the bottom. HOA. Mm -hmm. I love this part here and I really like the part that's on top of that copper line uh -huh. but I also really like this part over here and if I stretch out the top I'm probably gonna lose some of the bottom. Do you think it's worth it or just maybe lose a little bit? I think you just gave yourself the answer. Well, what do you think? Do you think we should or should I just leave it? I wouldn't take too much of that off, I like that. Of course you do, it looks like points. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay, but I don't usually like pride myself on being predictable, but... Okay, but I like that better, because we opened up the green and the blue more. Well, that looks pretty cool. Okay. I like it. What do you think? Uh-huh. I like it. I like it a lot. I now understand why they used to break people's fingers and stuff to torture them, and that hurts. <laughs> it's a very painful thing. Okay, so let's look at this. I think that this would be the top, or maybe this is the top. Like that, and that's the bottom. What do you think? Ooh, that's so pretty, that copper in those fingerlings is gorgeous. Anemone cascade. <laughs> 
I like this. Um, it's probably not going to be in dry in time to show you, but I will show you on Sunday for sure. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. Um, I appreciate all of you. Please like if you did. Please leave me a nice comment. If you can, share the videos. That's always appreciated. And uh, we'll see you real soon. Bye. That's really pretty. Look at those. Can you get in nice and tight? And those are so pretty. Wow. Well. So pretty. Awesome. That copper is like fire. Hashtag copper obsession, right? Yeah. Very cool. Awesome.